Welcome to another episode of Cradle to Graph, your authority on the baddest, fastest graph cycles on the planet. I'm your host, Romer Scholl. The title for toughest graph cycle gang around comes down to these nine contenders, a deadly assembly of mercenaries, assassins, and psychopaths. Here's the breakdown. Neon Dreams. You like pastels and 1980 synth rock? Well, that's not the bass line that's splitting your ear sensors. It's a slug from a light machine gun. There's a rhythm to the way Neon Dreams dismantle their opponents, and while all that speed comes at the cost of armor, they're not losing sleep over it. In the time it takes you to line up a shot, they're already behind you again with a fresh magazine. King's Guard. Don't let the fantasy aesthetic fool you. These medieval badasses can dish out the pain just as well as they can take it, with armor thick as the day is long, and a javelin launcher that hits like a ballista. The King's Guard earns their keep at the front line of any assault. Hard to make them flinch, and nearly impossible to take down. Sideshows. These circus freaks have more than a few gags up their sleeves, if you consider remote detonated sticky grenades gags. The Sideshow's M.O. is deception and misdirection. Trap, wound, kill. As if I didn't already hate clowns enough. Tech Noir. Worshippers of design at the razor's edge. From their clothes, to their tech, to their weapons. Tech Noir thrives by fighting and maneuvering from the outside, while their squad mates get up close and personal to handle the dirty work. But that doesn't mean they can't reach out and touch someone with a shot from their NG-6 Marksman cannon. Warheads. If the name didn't tip you off, they specialize in making things go boom. Take, for example, Trinades. You thought one grenade was enough, but you just didn't have the vision to realize what true, unbridled carnage looks like. And then there's the warhead. When you absolutely, positively need to eviscerate every living atom in the room, except no substitute. Lost Ronin. Disciplined warriors that make all-out offense look like poetry in motion. Lethal at any distance, once this crew sets its sight on you, the most you can hope for is an honorable death. Though I'm not sure how honored I would feel being ripped apart by a barrage of Union rockets. The, the business. Mayhem is money. And when this crew takes the battlefield, let's just say they make it rain. No fancy gadgets to master here, just good old-fashioned assault rifles and shotguns. Because when it comes to getting results, sometimes the old ways are still the best ways. Muertos. Looking for a dance with death? Look no further. These nimble and aggressive assassins will gladly send you to the afterlife with a pair of semi-automatic shotguns. If that doesn't finish the job, their sentries can handle the cleanup work. Some consolation? You won't have to worry about dying alone. Finally, the militia. Their motto? Ain't no problem a bullet can't solve. Stroll into their crosshairs and you'll catch some heat from their auto cannons, loaded with explosive rounds. When the clip runs dry, guess what? More guns. After all, in the North American DMZ, ammo's cheap. So that's the tale of the tape. You come face to face with any of these crews, you better be saddled up on a grav cycle with a solid team backing you up. Otherwise, you can kiss that brain can goodbye. I've been your host, Romer Scholl, and this has been Cradle to Grav. Until next time, keep your gears clean and your powder dry. Station.